today to talk about malware bytes. What is it? It's a virus scanning program to make sure there's nothing weird on your computer that might cause damage to it, allow hackers to steal your information, or anything else that might be nefarious on your system. What we're mostly going to do is we're just going to hit the scan button. And what this is going to do is it's going to go through every last file that are in the most infected places on your computer, and it's going to check for viruses and how it does it do that. It has what built into it what's called a virus definition. So it basically says this virus looks like this. It's got a fake digital mustache. It's got one eye. It's kind of like a police lineup. And so it goes through and it goes through its list of known problems and says, do any of these files match any of the problems that we have? And generally speaking, you shouldn't find too, too, too many unless you run around to really weird places of the internet. Uh, something that I always recommend to people, if you do like to browse the internet and just don't care where you go, get something like an advanced ad blocker that blocks things like scripts from running on random websites. That's most of how a lot of viruses enter your computer. Sometimes it's through infected advertisements from some of the skeezier websites, but sometimes not. It just really depends. All right, so this bad boy finished up and it found, wow, a whopping 599 objects. And it would turn out that these are all listed under PUP, which means that it's a potentially unwanted program that you may want to just have removed from your computer. And it looks like a lot of it is tied to some slim utilities stuff where it's like trying to help you optimize your computer or something. And I vaguely recall getting rid of this program years and years ago after it slowly slipped onto my machine. So I guess we'll just have to quarantine the lot of it, because it looks like, taking a look at all this, it's just a lot of that same th program. And the nice thing is you can actually click on the individual objects to see, oh, well, why does this pop up? Uh, how do you remove it? That sort of thing. And so uh, I think what we'll do is I'll just remove all these because these just all look like they're attached to Slim Cleaner Plus. So we'll just go ahead and uh, I just murder all these. Just quarantine all these. And then that'll be it. So if you go through this list and you see an object that you know doesn't need to be quarantined because it's not an actual questionable file at all, you can go ahead and uncheck it and then Malwarebytes won't quarantine it and it'll just leave it alone. It may still want to remove it later, but you could be like, nah, 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 it's cool. All right, so with that, all of the different files have been removed uh, properly, and that pretty much concludes the scan. And so what I can say is Malwarebytes has always been one of those programs that came highly recommended to me uh, in all my times using PCs. I also recommend using on top of that, the one that comes with your computer, Windows Defender. And it's nice because you can set this up to scan however often you like, even if you don't have the premium version. And you can always see the list of all of the reports of the things that the program has found. And most of this you don't really need to have premium protection for. And again, these are all features that may be very useful to you. You might just like the peace of mind if you do. Fantastic. It's available on their website. You can click the big buy now button. If you're like me and you just want to quickly occasionally just check on what's been downloaded or like what might have snuck on to your system through the cookies in your browser, you can hit scan and it's an easy way to make sure that your computer's clean so you can move on with your day. It just depends on what type of user you are. More power users might just use it once in a blue moon to check that everything is properly safe and then move on with their day. So I hope you found this helpful to go through the quick scan process of malware bytes. It's pretty straightforward. You can just pop it open, click scan, determine what you need to remove, and then quarantine it or just ignore the rest. And then you're good to go. So it's available for free. I'll put the link to the website in the video description so you can always grab that. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one. Back.